Well, then by to okay. They are providing the English for me. Uh huh. Welcome. Yes, thank you. I am Max. I can speak Russian, but I think uh, the transmission would work better in English. It was, uh, they, they say we'll have to work in English because um, this person does not speak Russian. Uh-huh. But I will say a few words in Russian. I hope it will, uh, it will uh, be heard. Здравствуйте, Лев. Меня зовут Максим, и я интересуюсь наукой, как раз вашей наукой, которую вы делали, парамагнетизм ДНК, и хотел с вами посоветоваться. I said, uh, hi, Leo. I'm Max, and um, I'm interested in your science, especially the um, magnetism of DNA, and I wanted uh, your consultation. Да. Consultation is uh, acceptable. What are your questions? <laughs> what are your questions? All right, so, so you discovered that DNA is magnetic. And, um, and you found that, uh, you thought that um, it was the, the largest discovery of yours. And uh, uh, it was uh, repressed by uh, the authorities. So you were very disappointed and felt that your major accomplishment was unrecognized. Ah. They, they, didn't, they did not understand what I was talking about because they are feeble-minded. Uh -huh. But actually, uh, the modern papers reference you as one of the first discoverers of the magnetism in DNA. Yes, it came about so by paper... the thought, yes, thoughts about that were in with me for a while because DNA and magnetism, uh, it, uh, when you use magnets, when magnets are being used, they tend to look a little like DNA when they are put together randomly. I mean, uh -huh. they start to form like DNA. Uh -huh. I also realized that we live in electromagnetic field all, all of existence for millions of years. Uh -huh. It must affect, must affect the way things come together because it is part of the environment. And of course, biology and environment go together. Uh, DNA and environment go together. So therefore, it is part of the way environment works in the DNA. Uh-huh. Does that make and, sense? Um, Am I saying this yes. for you to hear it? So you also reported that DNA becomes magnetic uh, for, the, for the cell division. So when cells are divided, it becomes magnetic, and then it loses its magnetism. Why would it be so? What, what, what do you think? If it, it has to lose its magnetism, Otherwise, it will repel or attract. It must become neutral in the position so that it is stable. Uh-huh. So what is magnetizing it? What, what do you think? The magnetizing portion is about how to separate it, how it becomes, um, how it... Uh, recreates uh, because it is uh, it has to uh, separate from itself by magnetizing uh, 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 pulling itself apart 
with the magnetic rejection. Oh, wow. Are you sure it's not electrostatic? Are you sure it's magnetic rejection? Uh, magnetic repulsion? It is. It depends on how it is looked at in the scientific eye. Uh -huh. You can look at it in different ways. I am trying to explain it as easily as I can from this point of view, which is harsh uh -huh. for me. Uh -huh. So yes, electrostatic, I understand. Uh -huh. I understand. Yes. Yeah, I think I think it uh, repels it, it, itself with electrostatic, not magnetic. Yes. It's similar but different. It's similar but different. Explaining it is difficult. Difficult. All right. Uh, so, uh, do you know what um, what biochemical process is is making the DNA magnetic? Who is responsible for it? Which uh, what, what is what is the mechanism? How the DNA becomes magnetic? That is a good question. We are we were trying to find out. We discovered by <clears throat> by experimentation that it was magnetic in some form. We weren't sure if it was electrostatic, yes or not at first but when it it would seem to be charged by the nervous system in the dna as the the system as it is uh programmed into the dna to do so am i making any sense not really uh, I, I don't think you worked on organisms which had nervous system so so it's no, unlikely. No, no. It's uh, nah. nervous systems. What did you say? Nervous systems. I think you work with simple organisms which don't have nervous system, like well, single yes. cell organisms or something like that. There so was sure. that as well. Yes. We did do some experimentation that is not documented. Mm -hmm. And that was with, uh, with nervous systems as well. Uh -huh. But so some of it was documented because it was not accepted. And mm -hmm. there was some uh, government interference that destroyed documents because they uh -huh. did not want anyone to listen or see this information. Uh -huh. So do you think so, the nervous system is, uh, is responsible for magnetizing uh, the DNA? In, in some senses, yes. Uh -huh. Now, on uh -huh. simple organisms, simple organisms, we, it is not clear exactly how they separate, how the magnetism is brought from it, except that the, the central portion or what would be considered the central system uh, would bring that energy to it. Uh-huh. Thank you. Uh, so, what do you think that magnetic uh, magnetic field of DNA would be constant, or would it be oscillating, like uh, vibrating? I think it's isolated. No, no, it's either constant or vibrating. Well, let me understand the words. Hold on. Not isolated. Oscillating. Oscillating. Yeah, oscillating. Okay, got it. Now, I was saying uh, isolated because it's not part of the rest of the organism how it reacts. But all right, 
Uh, vibrating is what I would answer that question. Okay. Vibration uh, is part of all systems in many ways. Okay. Next question I had. Um, there is a big argument whether the iron is involved in, uh, in the process of magnetizing the DNA or is it iron, which, iron atoms which actually produce in the magnetic field? Um, yes, iron think? does play a part in it. But is the DNA without iron still magnetic or is it iron which makes it magnetic? It is still magnetic without it because it has to be. But uh -huh. iron is a catalyst. Uh-huh. Excellent. That's what I think too. Yep. Uh, I think I asked all the questions and uh, I invite you to come directly to me and help me working on this. Uh, on this theory. I'm finishing the initial paper, but there is lots of questions unanswered. Well, forgive me that I need to learn to communicate better this way. Yeah, but uh, you can speak to me in Russian. Ah, very good. That I can do. Excellent. Um, can you ask if Francis Creek is available out there? Yeah. Momentarily, I will have to go see All if right. he is here. All right. Ah, frustrating, frustrating.